Hi, this is Jody from mcpactions.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Lightroom presets and also how to use the mini quick clicks, which is free on our website at www.mcpactions.com. To start with, we're gonna go ahead and install the set. To do this, you're gonna go on a Mac under the word Lightroom. And on a PC, you're gonna go under the edit menu. You can see the edit menu right here and you're going to drop down to where it says preferences. Once you go to where it says preferences, you will see in the middle area it says show Lightroom presets folder. You're going to click that and then you're going to go to where it says develop presets because this set that we're going to be installing today, Mini Quick Clicks, is a develop preset. Also, if you purchase Quick Clicks collection, it will be installed in the same location where it says develop presets. Now that you have this folder open, go ahead and navigate your way to where you downloaded the presets. I'm gonna go ahead and open my Finder window, which is a Mac thing. But if you're on a PC, navigate the way to where you downloaded yours. Once you find them, go ahead and select either the JPEG or RAW set that you downloaded, or if you downloaded both, you can drag those in at the same time by shift clicking. Hold your Alt or Option key so they remain where they are and move, and drag them in to where the Develop Preset folder is. Once you let go, it will automatically put them there, and then you're gonna go ahead and close out of these and restart Lightroom. Once you restart Lightroom, then they will be in your preset folder. If you don't see where that is, come into the Develop module, and then go under Presets, the little arrow, and you will see many quick clicks in there. The next step is deciding what preset to use. So we're going to go ahead and open up a picture. This picture is from Amanda Joy of Sparrow Photography. And you'll see it's a DNG file, which is a RAW file. We're going to go ahead and open the RAW set, Mini Quick Clicks RAW. You will see here we've got three sections to the set. There's a reset all first, which resets everything. Then we have a white balance section, an exposure section, and a mini quick clicks looks. What you're going to do is then decide what sections that you need. So for this picture, I already am happy with my white balance and exposure. So I'm gonna try some of the looks. So there's true colors, there's flying colors, there's light bright colors, Here's Remember When, which is more of a vintage Hage preset. Here's Ice Cream Shop. And here's the Root Beer Float preset, which is a toned black and white. If you're happy with the look, you'll go ahead and move on to the next picture. No saving required in Lightroom. Let's go ahead and select the next picture. This one you'll see is from Kelly Roper Photography, and it's a JPEG file. To see if you don't have the names up there, You'll click the I on your keyboard, and it will. you'll see how it's gone now. If I click I, it comes back, and it will tell you information about your picture, including if it's a JPEG or RAW file. So we're going to go ahead and open up the JPEG section. And for this picture, we're going to go ahead, and it's a little bit on the cool side, so I'm going to go ahead and start by adding Sunny Day, which warmed it up a bit. I'm happy with the exposure, so I'm going to go down to the third section, and you'll see how these stack. And I'm going to play a little bit. I'll start with true colors, which I don't like at all on this particular one. Not every preset will work on every image. It's one of those things that only takes a click, so click away until you find the right one. Also, flying colors is a little bit too strong. Ah, but light bright colors looks beautiful on this. I like that one a lot. And another little tip, in this navigator section, you can actually get a preview. So when you hover over a preset, it will show you a small preview. And I think I'm liking what I see in that preview right now when I hover over Remember When. So I'm gonna click it, and I like that version a lot. Here's the Ice Cream Shop preset. And lastly, Root Beer Float. So let's say I like Ice Cream Shop best for this picture. I might wanna go ahead and I might wanna make something called a snapshot. To do a snapshot, just go ahead and click your Command or Control key, depending if you're Mac or PC, and then the letter N, and then you can name it. So let's call this one BW for black and white, and click Create, okay? I already have some snapshots in there, so that's why I had to name it that. But let's go ahead and look at this straight at a camera, 
And then we can click on BW and there's the black and white version. You can go ahead and make as many snapshots as you like to test different scenarios. Now let's go ahead and move on to the next picture, which is another picture by Kelly Roper Photography, and it is also a JPEG. So we're going to go ahead in this one, and I'm gonna, not sure about the white balance yet. It looks a little bit warm, but I'm not quite sure. So the first thing I'm going to do is check with exposure. It is slightly underexposed. You'll see when I hover on increase exposure one stop, I'm liking what I see in this top navigator area. So I'm going to click it. And that actually looks great. It almost doesn't need anything else. But let's go ahead and try some of the looks and see if we like them. I already know that a few of these are gonna be way too strong, but let's go ahead and try light bright color and see what we think. I kind of like the conversion. However, it's way warmer than I would like. So if I wanted to go with that, I could come back up to white balance and it's nice because sections one through three of both mini quick clicks and the quick click collection will stack. So we're gonna go ahead back to section one and let's go ahead and try fluorescence since that will cool it off quite a bit. And that looks a lot better to me. If you want something in between, you can always come over and do a custom white balance. Once you've done that, let's say I want a little bit more yellow, I might move it a little bit more towards yellow and a little bit away from the blue area. So you can see that's looking really nice right now. If we wanted to try a black and white preset on this, we could try Ice Cream Shop. And I also like the way that looks quite a bit too. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to edit this picture of this little boy. I actually love the straight out of camera picture. You'll see this one's from Amanda Joy, also from Sparrow Memories Photography. We need to close out of the JPEG set here and open up the raw set. The reason is it's a raw photo, so we want to edit it with the raw presets for the best results. So let's go ahead in this picture, and it, like I said, I already love the straight out of camera, so I know some stuff might be too strong, but we can preview it without even having to click if we would like, and true colors looks very strong. The red's very vibrant in that, a little more vibrant than I would like. But let's go ahead and try flying colors. That looks pretty nice. I'm liking that. Light bright colors, pretty nice as well. Remember when. Now that's an interesting, and I kind of like that vintage look on this picture. I also like this one quite a bit in black and white with the ice cream shop. And root beer floats kind of neat too. So you once you go through these, you'll pick which one you like best and settle upon that. And that'll be the picture that you export and use. So it's super quick, it's just a click away. Lots of looks that you can get from our mini quick clicks collection, which can be found for free at www.mcpactions.com. If you like mini quick clicks, you'll probably love quick clicks collection with more than 240 presets for every shooting situation. Come check us out.